Hello everyone. Welcome back to Cybertech. So in our previous video, we have seen that how we crawled URLs of a domain. Now, you can come around a questions that what we have to do with these URLs and how do we first our target domain? So in this video, we are going to discuss about how do we first our target domains and how we can automate list of URLs into the fuzzing. Before we start the session, I hope you already subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you haven't, please do it. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, let's start with our today's topic that is how we can first our target domains as well as the domains URLs in the fuzzing tools. The fuzzing tools which we are going to discuss about is about the FFUF which is a very very popular tool. So today I am going to share some tips and tricks about FFUF tool. I will try to make it simple and easier for our beginners also so they can understand the tips and tricks about the FFUF tool. So let's start with that particular thing. So what do we mean by FFUF? So FFUF stands for first faster you fool. It is a great tool for used for fuzzing. It has become really popular lately with the bug bounty hunters. It is written in the Go language, so obviously you will need a Go lang install in your Kali Linux for that. So for this, you can fuzz a large number of words within just a minute. It is quicker than the Bubsuit Intruder, and Bubsuit Intruder will also will perform fast, but you will need the Pro version of it. So if you want the free version, so I will suggest you to use FFUF tool. So let's start with that particular thing. So how to install this particular tool? So you can install it by the two ways that is by with by a git clone and also as the re, this particular tool is written in the go. So in later on we need a go install also. So it, I will recommend to use this particular command that is go install github ul with the latest one. So as I already used it and I have installed that particular tool because I am also doing bug bounty hunters in my day to day life. So first of all, I will show you the help menu of the FFUF tool. So FFUF hyphen H. So you can see there is a uh, so many help manuals over there. So for you, once again, I will add it so you can see it clearly. So yeah, there are so many options which you can add it. So I will give you the overview of the help manual also that uh, you can first in our get based request that is directly via the URL post based request like suppose take an example you want to first one particular form and you want to add some kind of word list over there let's suppose access vulnerabilities payload and all so you can directly use it for by using the help of fuzzing of FFUF tool you can send it in just one minute and you will get the response of that particular thing and the response code is comes to a play where you can add hyphen mc tag mc tag is used for the 200 status okay whatever the status code which you need it so suppose i need a 200 okay 302 redirect and 403 forbidden kind of thing which are the three main things which we need in our bug bounty time so let's start with that even you can check out the example usage also they had given like how we can use it. So FFUF hyphen W you need a proper word list. So for the word list, I will recommend to use a checklist GitHub repo. So there are many word lists are there based on your feasibility. You can use that particular thing. And after that, hyphen U means URL which you want to add. So our previous video target domain was Netflix.com. So let's continue with that and hyphen h host if you want to change the host you can add fuzz over there now first what do we mean by that so first plays an important role so wherever the first it will be there ffuf tool will directly put that particular world list into that particular placeholder so you can uh, say it that first is a pointer in uh, this particular tool so wherever there will be first your world list will be put over there so let's start with our the uh, practical time. So I already have many uh, fuzzing word list also. Obviously, if we are doing a bug bounty, I will have the first for bounty GitHub repo also. So FFUF 
hyphen u so let's take an example https colon double slash netflix dot com and i will add fuzz over there so f u z z okay and hyphen w for the word list tag so i will just drag and drop fuzz for bounty dot txt and suppose if i want uh, some particular status code that show me only 200 okay response only so i can directly give it but for the particular practical purpose i will not give the hyphen mc tag because i want to show all the status codes like how the ffuf tool works so just put an enter over here so you can see how quick it is it is giving me the 301 it means that it is redirecting to main domain and you can see the size also size 0 means it was a false positive so it will just take a few minutes of time and you can check out that there is a 29,000 word list in my particular text file and it is scanning till now this that is 4400 and it is still going on so let us wait for few minutes and let's see what is there any kind of 200 ok status code are there or any sensitive files which we had got in the netflix.com so now the ffuf has completed the scanning in just a few minutes that is 146 request per second it is a really really faster than our pubsuit intruder even in the pro version also so you can see the status code of 403 suppose if i don't want 403 because uh, as it has been forbidden and it has given the size as zero so we can add hyphen mc tag also now so after the use of the basic first suppose i have the complete uh, list of domains like suppose i don't want to just uh, first my netflix.com i want to also scan the subdomains of the netflix.com so what we have to do so i had made one particular one liner for that so it what it will do so cat domain urls.txt or you can directly add the subdomains.txt also while read do ffuf ffuf our tool it will use that and start with the word in particular word list you can add any kind of word list which you want according to your feasibility and the particular test cases so wordly.txt and iphone u whatever that particular domain url will be there it will be added over here it is just a pointer over here and iphone v for the verbose and mark it as done okay so let's take an example for this i am just going to use one particular uh, urls which i had already scanned in with the help of param spider tool so coming to this param spider tool it will just the same usage of the wayback url but the param spider is lot more faster but it will only scan the live domains which are currently ongoing in our netflix.com so i already have that particular thing so i will just move to the cd param spider okay so suppose if we want to run the param spider i will just show you once so how it is going to use it okay yeah so python 3 param spider dot py hyphen d netflix dot com and hyphen o netflix so i want to just save the output for that particular netflix domain so we have that param spider over here output let me just open it and you can see so we can have so many of urls has been added with the help of param spider and the main thing with the help of param spider we can do is first so yeah you can see that is equal to first right so suppose uh, whatever the parameter are there there might be a sql injection vulnerability right so we can directly put these particular urls into the list so let me try it out so first of all i will just uh, get back to my uh, normal directory and then we can go further so cd and i will just use this particular command so copy paste so over here I'm just going to add the domain URLs that is the netflix.com which we had got from the param spider. Okay, so we just had to drag and drop. Yes, 
so first of all let me just close this particular output of the netflix because it is just getting loaded so much and and where the word list dot txt you just have to add your own word list dot txt so let me just get back into the fuzzing list so i have word list over here and there is a sql so when you open it you can see that i have lot of sql payloads added over here right so in every parameter my sql payload will be loaded so let us try with that so i'm just going to make it full screen so you can see each and everything so yeah the fuzzing has been started and you can see there is a status code of 302 found but the size is zero so it means that it is a false positive and didn't give any kind of response till now so how does this particular uh, tool is working so it is working on our one to many things so one url with our whole word list of the sql payloads after that once the complete uh, word list has been completed it will move for the another url and after that it will all scan with the another word list you can see it will show you like fffuf continuously but don't think it is in the loop it is just using the all the things of in the particular url of the netflix.com with our word list of sql so obviously this is going to take a lot lot of time so i hope you understand how we can use first in our reconnaissance process so you can try it out in many bug bounty programs as well so it will be really helpful for you so i hope i have cleared all your doubts in this particular video so you can use fffuf according to your feasibility there are many one liners i have provided in my github repo so you can check it out link will be given in the description if you still have any kind of queries you can ask it in our telegram community channel Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are getting a good knowledge freely. I'll see you in the next video. Till that time, goodbye and Jai Hind.